Hi folks, I'm Raz and in today's video I'm going to share with you ALS Academic Writing Task 1 Overview and Practice. Alright, let's take a look at two tasks. Task 1 is report writing for academic. The student needs to write for 150 to 180 words in 20 minutes. The other task is task 2 essay writing both academic and general 250 to 80 words in total in 40 minutes. So friends, in this video, I'm going to share with you task 1 report writing for academic. Now let's take a look at the task assessment. So task achievement is 25% in which you need to answer everything you're asked to do in the question. The other 25% is coherence and cohesion in which you need to use structured paragraphs and make standard expressions. The other 25% is lexical resource in which you need to use wide range of vocabulary. And the last is grammar range and accuracy in which you need to include different kinds of sentences ranging from simple, compound and complex. Now, right, let's take a look at the segregation of the paragraphs. Paragraph one is an introduction. Paragraph two is overview. Paragraph three is make analysis and group comparisons of different years. And paragraph four is make analysis and group comparisons of the remaining years. Now let's take a look at the types of the graphs. So we can get anything related to pie chart, bar graph, tables, flow chart, line graph. So if you want to describe facts and figures, take help of bar graphs, describe trends through line graphs, comparison through tables and pie charts, describe process diagram or map, and describe a flow chart. So let's take look at the graph one you should spend about 20 minutes on this task line graphs below show the production and demand for steel in million tons and the number of workers employed in the steel industry in uk in 2010 summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant write at least 150 words so let me share an idle answer that can help you score a good band now here we have two different graphs. These are line graphs. The first one is demand for steel and the second is number of workers employed. So let's move on to the sample answer. The first line graph outlines the steel production and demand in the UK in 2010, while the second one reveals the employee number in the industry in the same year. Overall, the production of steel was superior throughout the year than that of the demand except in December, and the topmost number of employees were employed in this industry at the beginning of the year. According to the first graph, the UK produced 4,000 million tons of steel in January 2010, and at that time, the demand was exactly half of that. After the first quarter, the production and needs for steel remained almost the same. At the end of the second quarter, August, the UK steel production stood at just over 3,000 million tons against a million tons less demand. From January to November, the production was predominant than the demand and the gap between these two was on an average of a million tons. However, the scenario shifted dramatically at the end of the year. From September to November, steel production plummeted and so did the demand. In December, the demand for steel exceeded the total production. The second line graph reveals that 5 million employees worked in the steel industry and this number dropped to 2 million less in April. From that time onward, the employee number showed some fluctuations and in fact, in August, the UK steel sector employed around 3.5 million workers. This number continuously dipped throughout the rest of the year and declined to 1 million in December. 
Now moving on to the graph two, you should spend about 20 minutes on this task. The bar charts and line graph below show the results of a survey conducted over a three year period to discover what people who live in London think of the city. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant, write at least 150 words. Now let's take a look at the combination charts. Here we have two bar graphs and one line graph. So let's take a look at the sample answer that can help you score a good band. The graphs reveal data from a survey that shows how Londoners feel about living in London by expressing the greatest and worst things they face. The data also presents the ratio of these people who think litter, air quality and noise are some primary concerns. Overall, freedom of shopping, employment and multicultural environment are the best things about London, while cost, crime and a mixture of races are the main hindrance to a quality life in London, according to the survey takers. Bar graphs consider people's opinion in three years regarding the paramount and poorest aspect of living in London, as is presented the highest percentages of Londoners, roughly 42 to 45 percent, think that the range of shopping is the best thing they enjoy about London. Around 35 percent of Londoners voted for the job and cross-cultural citizens as main advantages. Nightlife places to visit and transport facilities were picked by approximately 20 to 25 percent and people in these years as the main attraction for dwelling in London. In contrast, living and housing costs, traffic jams and crime were picked by a significant percentage of people as the willest thing about the city. Interestingly, while some people consider multicultural environment and transports as two main benefits of living in London, more than one third possess an opposite view. The crime was massive in the first year, yet over time, fewer percentiles of people showed their concern about it. Finally, the garbage issue was mentioned by the utmost ratio of the populace, 70 to 75 percent, as a severe concern in London, whilst around 65 percent and 55 percent on average considered air quality and noise to be the main hazards for living in London. So thank you so much, friends, for watching this video and keep watching more IELTS writing videos and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.